800 Yo Fam. What's ever in it? Yo, walk one. Back again, and the Beebles here, which means that I have, yes, I have recorded several episodes in advance, but I don't care, fam. I don't care. When I got time to record it, man, space it out, innit? It's just now it's on video, you know. I'm wearing the same garms that I wore in the last two videos, but it is what it is. You know, last week, last couple of weeks, I spoke about the Friends theme tune being a destructive, self fulfilling prophecy for every adult in the world that's ever enjoyed the program, and Last week, man got serious, innit? Man went into what's going on in the world right now and stuff like that because I feel that it needs to be said, you know what I'm saying? So big up the brothers and sisters in the struggle worldwide. All of the ghetto yachts them. You know what I'm saying? We all stand together, the oppressed, the have-nots, because we are all the have-nots until we crush the people that hold the wealth in the palm of their hands. You know what I'm saying? Let's work towards a better tomorrow. You get me? I'm not even going to spin the ball on my hands because I can't do that. I can't lie. I just have never had skills like that. The one moment from basketball that I remember that would stay with me forever is when I was playing a match against Woolwich Polly. I was attending Eagles Field at the time. And man was... um. Yeah, man was in the corner, you know, big fan of Michael Jordan and that. And I hit a fadeaway jumper. I hit a fadeaway jumper in the final minutes of the game. Yes, we was already up by quite a bit, but I won the game with that fadeaway jumper. If you don't believe me, ask the man them, innit? Can't remember any of the man them's names, but ask gender, innit? Ask Jermaine. He was there. He witnessed it. I believe. I can't even remember. But shit. My name played basketball in time, but I just got the b-ball here because it's in the room and that, you know what I'm saying? Chilling. But yeah, you know, I realised, I realised this, and I, I realised this lesson thick and fast, that sometimes what holds us back the most, yeah, is really like, really saying things with chest and doing things that we love doing and admitting to ourselves that we love doing those things. For me, yeah, it's podcasting. I learned that. I learned to like say it from chest that I'm a podcaster. I've learned to say it from chest that now I'm a content creator and vlogger because, you know, man's doing this YouTube thing and it's it's going, it's going good. It's going consistent, going well. You know what I'm saying? If you're tuned into this, please subscribe. And I'm not saying please subscribe like I'm begging it, but just subscribe to man in it because I've got some interesting shit on the way. And the lesson, yeah, is that I've done two unboxing videos last week. Yeah, I'm yet to edit them. I don't know when this comes out. I don't know if you've already seen them or whatnot. But one was for the NPC Live 2 that I got, the retro edition. And another one was for um, some Street Fighter 2 toys, Ryu and Ken from Fan Home. And I remember telling one of my colleagues at work and I was like, yeah, like it feels weird saying this, but I've done two unboxing videos. And man just like really stopped me in these tracks, in my tracks. And he was like, yo, like, what do you mean? Why would you ever be ashamed of that? Like, I love watching those videos, man. Like, do you know, like a totally different perspective. Whereas from how I've come up and from where I'm from, like you look at them things and you're like, ah, oh, that's kind of corny still, but I shouldn't look at it as corny because I'm doing that shit now. Like, I, I'm just not hiding what I love to do anymore. So the moral of this is, whatever you do, do it with chest and be really forthcoming about it. Because if you ain't and you're like shook to admit that you're really into this shit, like, no one's gonna take you seriously. And you won't even take yourself seriously enough to put in the work and put in the effort to get shit done. So what do you love doing? Okay. So you love doing that. All right, all right. Why do why don't I know that you love doing that? Who else knows that you love doing that? Do you share your stuff with the world? Okay. Yeah. Scene. Okay. Where can I where can I consume the stuff you create? All right, yeah. All right, yeah, I'll check that out. Thanks for telling me. It's as simple as that. Next thing you know, they share it with their people them and their people them and their people them and it just goes on, you know? 
But yeah, I learned a very valuable lesson. And that was a 30 second conversation. You know what I'm saying? I learned a valuable lesson in a 30 second conversation. It just made me think, yo, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it, innit? Stay on the path and do the damn thing. Like, yeah, man. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Short thing, but you know, <laughs> the message is still there and effective. So just say it all with chest. I am Khalid Omari. I make music. I make beats. I write poetry. I record. Certain times I can rap and spit some bars and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I do vlogs. I do unboxings. Obviously, when I get a new product and that. And um, I'm a podcaster. And that's what I do. And I love tech. And I'm learning Spanish as well. I don't know if I'll get back into that. But yeah, that's me. That's what I love doing. Holler at me. Where is KO.com? 0800 yofam.com. Look out for the Calism podcast. You know what I'm saying? Search for that and whatnot. Go to speaker.com forward slash user forward slash where is KO. And that's where you find the podcast and all of that BI. But anyway, peace. Yo fam, what's good, what's poppin'? Yo fam, what's good, what's poppin'? 0800 Yo fam, whatever in it. Yo fam, what's good, what's poppin'? Yo fam, what's good, what's poppin'? 0800 Yo fam, whatever in it.